Hello everyone and welcome to my highlights of AOR GP2 Season 12 of uh, the Italian Grand Prix and yeah as you can probably tell from the duration of this video it's not going to be very long um, I literally have just finished the race and it has yeah, not gone very well or well, actually it ended very shortly but um, I'm going to give you what I can of these highlights um, as I sort of feel that uh, I'd sped upload it because yeah, it didn't end very well. But um, in qualifying, yeah, I didn't get the that sort of first chicane very well. I didn't do that particularly brilliantly. Um, I've been doing sort of 22 threes, 22 fours on these toffs, and yeah, this lap wasn't brilliant. But we're not close behind midget here, and that second chicane was pretty nice. Actually, the nicest actually I've taken it um, even during practice. I took it better there than I had it. But here, I've got so much understeer here, and I just yeah, I lost it there. It wasn't that good. Uh, and then second Lesmo, Lesbo, Lesmo is actually are very very difficult but I think we should call them lesbians because they are pretty harsh um, but other than that seemingly going pretty well this lap so far we're just a couple of cents off midget and then I didn't get a sky row look at that understeer just yeah it's a problem that I'm suffering with um, and it is just it's simply just getting the qualifying right and like under pressure and I just I'm struggling to try and get my qualifying into uh, it, under par, into a situation where it's good enough for good position. Uh, I know that the, the, the pace is there, but yeah, this could be much closer, you know, 22.3, but it wasn't, it was 22.7. I mean, I know I could probably done a 22.3.4, be up there with midget, but that is the final results. Um, Commando was on pole with 21.9, pole to level on, on a 22.1 on a fresh set of soft, so that was a very good lap from him, that was a scorcher. And yeah, I could have been in the top 10, but that's down in 14th place. Isn't the best, um, but we start a fresh set of softs, and the strategy for this race for me was soft, and then going on super soft at the end of the Grand Prix. So um, start on softs, go super soft, go start on softs, go and then going soft, and then going super softs. So that was the plan. You see, I was just fiddling around the strategy here, and uh, I felt quite confident for this Grand Prix. I felt that you know, there's a chance that we could have a good result if things went our way. Italy's been always been a very good track for me, and I was really was looking forward to having a bit of racing but obviously last time out at Spa we had a very unlucky race and um, we're ready to go racing here uh, we see CRMR11 on the set of mediums and this is really our first sector of this Grand Prix is pretty much the amount of time we last here so here we go we're gonna rev for five red lights for the Italian Grand Prix here we go lights out and away we go and get a pretty decent start here and we actually get CRMR11 off the start pretty easy and Jim Nuss has actually had a bit of a poor start too Big Z is um, down in 10th place we're going to try and go up the inside here as close as we can and see Big Z is tap um, Riley boys and we have to avoid that and um, yeah, as close as we can here going around the outside of CRMR11 and Jim Nuss has had pretty you know, not, a, not the best of exits and we're going to be in the sip stream right now heading down to the second chicane here here we go in this sip stream we're going to give it everything we can we're going to go to the outside here try to attack as much as we can we know we've got the pace we're going to go to the outside Big C is, lot, is um, struggling against his score we're going to go around the outside of, of him of Jim Nuss and yeah that happens and that's the our race over um Looking back on that, I actually thought it was something something wrong with like the the social curb on the inside, but it wasn't. I was uh, wrong. I'm guessing that maybe he had a little bit of overstay. I couldn't see what was happening. Maybe I closed the gap a little bit too early. I didn't. I, I felt I left enough room, but yeah, it ended badly for me and for us. And that was our race over. So I just got to push on for Singapore now. I mean, I'm starting to like. I'm starting to not want to do this anymore. But I know I have the pace to be good enough, and I just need to sort out the qualifying really, because I feel like I'm putting myself in these situations. So, big push for Singapore now, and hopefully our results start coming our way. But, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content on this channel, and I'll leave you for some more laps actually in the wet, which I've actually have been trying to improve on um, my wet condition pace. So, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.
Yeah.